Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a video that I promised a long time ago, and I just wasted 16 minutes recording, only to realize that I forgot the Razer Phone 2 requires two commands to unlock its bootloader. Whoops, it requires flashing unlock and flashing unlock critical. Dumbest thing that Google has ever added to devices. My phone is ringing again. I don't know why. I'm going to ignore it because it's across the room on the charger. Anyway, and I just started this and I'm not pausing it again. So, this video is all about the Razer Phone 2. My Razer Phone 2 is currently bricked. I tried to flash a custom ROM to it that I discovered on a website that is much like Graphene OS, and I wanted to test it. Now, here we are. I'm going to put my phone back to stock real quick, and then we're going to attempt to flash this custom ROM again because I'm going to do it correctly and unlock the critical partitions. Oops. Anyway. I'll see you guys in a second. All it takes to do a uh, unbricking is just download the proper firmware and then you can flash it. The reason this has pauses in it is because I was trying to figure out what I did wrong, but I'll be back when this thing is done. Uh, when this thing is done flashing back to stock. BRB. While this is finishing up, I'll talk a little bit about the process and about the ROM that I found. So the ROM that I found, I found through a uh, different device, actually. I found it through the Essential Phone. And I really wanted to attempt to... Oh. Anyway, I'll explain why I'm surprised here in a moment. Uh, <laughs> I discovered this ROM while I was looking at ROMs for the Essential Phone 2, or Essential Phone 1 because I have many of them, and I wanted to try some custom ROMs on multiples of them. Well, I was searching their site, and I came across this one. There are downloads for the Razer Phone 2. So, I wanted to try them. Now, they have verified boot abilities, which means you can relock the bootloader after flashing the custom ROM to it, which is really nice. Uh, as you can see, they also do support the Razer Phone 1, but it's also untested. It has verified boot. You can do it by TWRP or by fast boot. They recommend doing it by TWRP. Um, I could do it correctly. I'll do it that way. Actually, I'll download Lineage OS custom recovery instead of using TWRP. Oh, this is the essential phone. Oh boy, I almost downloaded the wrong thing. Never mind, don't listen to what I said. So, anyway, I discovered it through this, and they do have an install guide through Lineage OS. I do need to find out they have a custom recovery for the Razer phone. I don't see Razer here at all. Oh, I'm just blind. That's why Control F exists. Phone 2. So, get builds here. I'm really surprised they have builds. So, we're going to use the Lineage OS. I think I'm saying it right. Custom recovery. Or flashing the ROM if the fast boot method doesn't work. I want to try fast boot first because you can relock the bootloader. If this doesn't work, I will do it the other way. Uh, I was going to do a GSI to try to save it, but I decided against that. So anyway, I don't need this here. Need this one. So we have it extracted here. This is what you'll see on the inside. It's currently doing vendors. Okay. So not a big deal. Not a lot to flash. Now the difference between divested. I want to say it is divest OS and regular Android, uh, like Android uh, 10 that comes from Samsung on your Samsung device. This operating system is a secure device, so or secure operating system. So what that actually means is um, I. Razer Phone 2 is restarting, and I want it to go right back to the bootloader. Come on. 
Okay, it's back to the bootloader, we're safe. So what that actually means is it doesn't have things like gaps. It doesn't have things, uh, there we go. So it doesn't have gaps, it doesn't have anything Google in it, and they don't recommend putting anything Google on it. You can get OTA updates over Tor, which actually looks really nice. Um, and they have all these different methods. They even have the source code public, which is really nice. A whole bunch of great things about this. So, I want to flash it. I want to try it. But I don't want to try it on a device that I figure it's going to work on. I want to do it on a phone that has terrible ROM support. The Razer Phone 2 is awful when it comes to ROM support. So, I actually had to go in and I had to Google how to flash AVB keys and all that. But now that I have it all done and understood, we're gonna do it right this time. I'm gonna flash the AVB, which I have here. It's very quick. The commands for it are fastboot erase, fastboot flash, and then just reboot. And next, we have to do this step. So you need CMD, you need your bootloader unlocked, you need everything up to that point. If you don't know how to do that, uh, you probably shouldn't be flashing a ROM that's been untested. This is more to show why you probably shouldn't flash ROMs to devices that don't have a lot of ROM support. Unless you know what you're doing. So fast boot, dash W, skip, reboot, update. And we just drag and drop this, just like a ROM. And it goes in and it attempts to flash the device. So this does take a moment, but honestly, it's a very small ROM at 1500 megabytes. Most ROMs, um, I'll show you some GSIs. Here, for example, .OS, one of my favorite ROMs on the planet, is over three gigs in size. As far as other ROMs, you can see Ancient OS is 2.5, Alex is 2.0, Corvus is 3.2, Ions 2.5, Legion is 700 megs. Actually, that's an XZ file, so it's actually a lot smaller than that. It's this one right here, 2.7. This uh, MUI Alienware reskin is 2.5. ROMs are not small especially when they have gaps and stuff in them. That's the point of this ROM, is to remove gaps and all the other Google stuff that basically just drain your battery constantly. So, let's see what happens. Let's see if this works. I'm hoping it does, but I don't have faith that it does. So, fast boot. We're going to do fast boot, reboot, and hope. Last time it did not boot, it got broken, or it got broken. Look at my terrible grammar. It bricked itself, it had funny lines going through the LCD like it was incorrect code. Whole bunch of problems. Doing the same thing right now. So, I do not believe that this ROM is even going to boot when it comes to doing it the fast boot way. So, what else we could try is the uh, custom recovery way. So, I'm going to go in back to Razer Phone 2. Have the kernel and everything right here. I just need to reboot the phone. Quick. It takes about 10 seconds to reboot. You just do volume down and power on a phone that you can from. Eventually it reboots. Let go of power when the screen goes black, and then you're good to go. So now we just do fast boot, flashing boot. Oh my god, flash. Fast boot, and we can go recover. I'll just do it on the screen. I don't believe it's going to go to recovery. I don't. I have very little faith that this is going to go to recovery. 
If it does go to recovery, it'll be... It did not go to recovery. <laughs> so I'm going to quickly put it back to stock, and then we'll do it by uh, custom recovery. And we'll go from there again. So I'm going to flash it real quick. It's stuck at the powered by Android. It's not stuck. Hmm. Is it going to go recovery? I don't think it's. Yeah, this thing's uh, not going to do anything. So I'm going to quickly reboot it. I'll put it back to stock, which does not take long. And we'll try it the custom recovery flashing way. All right, so I'm going to run the flash all script. And just let it sit, and I'll come back when I'm flashing T, uh, not TWRP, Lineage OS Recovery. All right, the device fully booted. It's still bootloader unlocked because I never ran the uh, flashing lock command. And we're going to try doing it, quote unquote, correctly and see how it turns out. So we're going to do fast boot, flash boot with the custom Lineage OS Recovery. And what you do is you just go recovery mode on your actual phone, which simple enough, you know. I want to make sure real quick that I have the right download for this. So I'll be right back. All right, I got the right download. So this is the one for custom recovery. What you want to do is, I believe, uh, factory reset just to be safe. It's always good to have the steps up no matter how many times you've done it. You want to do factory reset just in case. And I forgot that lineage OS recovery touchscreen ability. That's really nice. So the factory reset is done. And then from here, you want to go into apply update from ADB and enable ADB sideload mode. So ADB sideload. And then we do this ROM file and you hit enter. Now it's going to attempt to send it over. I don't know which method actually will be faster to flash. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if the ROM doesn't work. If this doesn't work, I'll try .OS as the GSI ROM because I just want to mess with this thing as much as possible. But I don't think GSIs are going to work on this phone. Somebody had to custom compile that GSI for Graphene OS, and that thing still barely worked. There were a lot of features missing. So it's asking me if I want to install this anyway. I'll say yes. Yes. It says it's going to downgrade my system. I don't think so. This is going to upgrade it. So it is running through. Is that step one of two? I've never understood why they put the percent thing at the end on the command prompt because it doesn't really do anything. This stops at such random percent numbers. I've seen it stop at 47, but it was actually 100. I've seen it stop at like 250, 250%. I've seen it stop at 13%, but it does send the whole entire package over. That percentage number right there is completely useless. But this isn't a big ROM file, so I'll be surprised if this is all that long to be with you. So far, it's working. I'll pause the recording, and I'll come back once it's done flashing. Watch it be done, like, as soon as I pause. I was kind of right. It was done, like, one minute later. So anyway... Go back and I'm going to try to reboot the system. We're going to hope it works because I'd really like to have a custom ROM on this thing that is not Android 
And actually, I have never had a custom ROM successfully flash on this device at all. So this will be a first uh, on any Razer phone, too, not just this one specifically. I'm going to give it its chance. I'm going to wait and see if it boots. So far, it's not doing crap. It is just sitting at the Powered by Android screen, but it could be because of first boot. So, see what happens, I guess. I really want to learn to custom uh, compile my own ROMs because I would love to be able to make my own ROM for this. But I'm going to let it sit for a second, see if it boots, and I'll come back. Does not work. So I'm going to put it back to stock once more. Um, and can't load Android system. Your data may be corrupt. If you continue to get this message, you need to perform factory data reset and erase all user data stored on this device. Thank you, Lineage OS. I will let it try to boot once more now that I did the factory reset. Factory data reset. I don't think this is going to boot. This ROM does not boot on this device. Kind of no matter what. So I'll try dot OS just for the gits and shiggles, as I like to say. But I think this thing is pretty much toasted as far as trying to use that ROM. Unfortunately, I really like that ROM. I like the idea of that ROM. I'll still throw it on a Razer phone too and I'll make another video in the future on it. But right now we're just gonna screw with it at this point. I should put a pause in there because I don't know if that worked. Pause. It does work, good. So. We are going to flash this because I feel like uh, fast boot, reboot, fast boot. I think this should have fast boot mode, but because of the ROM, it might not go to fast. We'll find out. Fast boot mode is usually controlled by the recovery. I don't think the recovery was replaced, obviously, because it wouldn't have given me error that it did, but it looks like it's not going to go to it. So, I'm going to have to put it back to stock and try to flash it from there, I guess. So, I'll pause the recording. It'll be the last thing I try in this video is .OS. Just to have fun with it. I'll be right back. All right, we're back in business. So let's see what happens if I flash a GSI to this thing, because GSIs don't seem to work either. Uh, on this particular device, I'm actually going to do it by TWRP, which means I need to flash the ARC kernel. So fast boot, flash, boot, ARC. And then we do recovery mode on the phone. The reason I'm doing it by TWRP is I want to make sure it flashes correctly and I just have trust issues that it's not going to flash correctly if I don't use TWRP. So using TWRP I can flash it as an image file, mark it as allow modification to the system. One thing I forgot is VB metadata so I'm going to do that real quick. Reboot to bootloader to do the DB meta right here. Oops. There we go. Now we'll do recover. And I think I am going to just go big or go home and try to put dot OS on this. I really like dot OS. I, if you can't tell, it's one of the cleanest GSIs out there. Um, it's got gaps built into it, which is really nice. So what we'll do is I'll ADB push this to storage, ADB push SD card. Oh, it doesn't see it. Uh, 
That's right, device manager. It's giving me an issue. It always gives me an issue with this device. I don't know why. But I'm just going to let it Hmm. I don't want to do that. But it's not going to let me do it this way either. It, it this device does this as well if you power it on entire uh completely, which I find very strange. Try this. Okay. We're going to try. <laughs> Whatever. That one didn't work. 64 bit. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to let me side load on. Very strange that it does this. Well, it'll let me sideload, but it won't let me... I wonder if I... Now it comes up as ADB device, but for some odd reason doesn't like it. Yeah, I do not, I've never figured out this error, to be honest with you. Like if I do ADB devices, it doesn't show it attached. Can I sideload a GSI? Or do I have to fast boot? We are gonna do this by the book, by Google steps. So, let's try this. We're gonna do, we're gonna reboot to bootloader and we're gonna do this all the way through bootloader so at first you want to disable vb metadata i just want to make sure i do all the steps correctly because i break this phone pretty often as far as trying roms with it so we're going to do fast boot reboot fast boot twrp should have fast boot built into it if it doesn't i can switch to lineage os recovery not a big deal Uh, EWRP does not apparently have sideload or uh, GSI ability. Oh, okay, there it goes. Oh. It just rebooted, so we're going to do fast boot, flash boot, and we need to do the lineage OS recovery. Then we can reboot fast boot, fast boot, reboot, fast boot. Should work. Then we do fast boot array system, fast boot, whatever. Root and ROM, misc GSI, dot OS. Dot OS should run really nicely on Come on. Oh. I don't think it's going to allow me fast boot D. E. I think it doesn't work. No, it's erasing for some reason. You just go to fast boot D, please. I mean, I can do this in normal, but I want to do it right. Oh, now it's just booting. Thanks. Means it's probably connected incorrectly. No, it's not detected at all. Very strange that it doesn't work. Oh, it's rebooting again. I think. 
This phone, man. The Razer Phone 2 kind of sucks. Fast boot. Fast boot, reboot, fast boot. I'm going to try again. If this doesn't work, I'll flash standard boot.img and see if that has it and that works. I don't think this is going to work. No, it just tries to boot. I don't think this device has fast boot. Fast boot D. Interesting. Very strange. Here's standard boot. Yep, there it goes. It is back to normal. It is back to bootloader. So we are going to do fast boot flash boot. Fast boot, reboot, fast boot. And we're going to see what happens. Very strange that it does this. It really is. Ow. I don't know. Wow, my finger cracked really loudly. We're going to hope. I hope it's just booting. So I don't think fast boot D exists on this. Game. Not a big deal. I can still flash it in other ways. I just need to wait for it to reboot. I do really like the Razer Phone 2. I think I have three or four of them now. I just really wish it was possible to throw custom ROMs on them because the phone would be so much better, but custom ROMs are so finicky on this device. That's why I'm really hoping .OS works, which is Droid on Time Operating System, but I don't have high hopes. And this thing's not, this thing's just, I'm just going to force reboot it. It'll boot eventually, but I don't want it to. There we go. So now we're just going to flash that real quick. And then we're just going to ignore the fast boot, reboot, fast boot, and do fast boot, erase, system. Fast boot, flash, system. And we're going to try to do .OS. It probably is going to tell me that it's too big. But I'll still give it a shot. No, it's going to send it. Sweet. It's so much faster in Fastboot D because it's a different type of uh, USB connection. It allows faster data travel. But this isn't that slow either. So seeing that it's taking about 10 or 11 seconds to send the data, it's probably going to take um, probably about a minute and a half to do this, maybe a little bit longer. So I'm going to pause the recording because this is already 30 minutes long. <sighs> I should have just streamed. So I was about right. 96 seconds. We're going to do fast boot dash W and fast boot reboot. And we're going to hope that this boots. Because I'm sick of messing with a Razer Phone 2 that I can't custom ROM. If I can custom ROM this one, I will probably switch back to using my Razer Phone 2 as my daily phone. As long as .OS boots on it. But, oh my god, it's booting. No way. .OS is always the one that works. I swear to god. I've tried other ROMs constantly. Do not work but this one did work i'll have to i know people in the razor phone 2 community have wanted a custom rom for this device so i will have to make a post about it although it is nice seeing an official launch of lineage os using mind the gaps but there are issues with that, which is not a big deal. I'm wondering if I will have these bugs on .OS. I will 
Actually, it's not going to let me do screen share because of this issue. But at least it's working so far. It's trying to boot. It can take a very long time to boot the first boot, so I'm going to pause the recording again and just wait and see if it turns on entirely or if it just sits at the bootloader forever. Or boot screen, sorry. So I waited about 10 minutes, did not boot, but I found a small thing that says if I flash this, it should fix it. It's not going to let me sideload, is it? God damn it. It let me sideload earlier. Try this again. Man, if I can't sideload, I can't do anything. Huh. Wonder. Yeah, there's no way for me to... It did let me sideload. It let me sideload with Lineage OS. So we're going to go back to that. Man, this is a pain in the butt. Bootloader. Do not install. Fast boot flash. I need the custom kernel. I need this one. Sorry. What a pain in the tuchus. Wow, I sound like my mother. That's something she would say. This is a 31 minute video. I'm just gonna title it playing with a razor phone too. I think that's the perfect title for this. So apply update, apply from ADB. And just send it. Yeah, it works this way, yes. All right, now we're going to see if it boots. And I will let you know in about five minutes if it boots because of this. Well, comma. Oh, God, look how often I use voice to text and I have to say the word comma. I do it in conversation sometimes. Anyway, I think I give up on custom ROMing this device. Oh, you can see I'm a pirate. Anyway. Yeah, nothing works. I do not recommend this device if you like custom ROMing your phone. This, this device will not boot with a ROM compiled for it. It will not boot without, uh, or it won't boot GSIs even with specified steps that are literally made and have been proven to work. I think if you are trying to get a device that you want to put a custom ROM on, you want to root it, and you want to do a whole bunch of stuff, Get a Google Pixel, get an Essential Phone, get almost anything else. Do not get a Razer Phone 2 if your intent is to custom ROM. So, that's an hour of my life gone that you only saw 33 minutes of. If you made it this far into the video, let me know your favorite energy drink. Tell me flavor and brand. And maybe one of these days I'll see if I can find it near me, and I'll give it a shot. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for sticking around through the whole video, if you did. And I'll talk to you later. Peace out.